Hello, welcome. We are going to look at curve of intersection and we have a question here that uh, reads two cylinders joining at 45 degrees angle uh, such that the diameter for the vertical cylinder is 50 millimeter and the diameter for the adjoining cylinder B is 30 millimeter. Draw a complete front elevation, draw the plan, draw the development of the cylinder that intersects the vertical and the cylinder B. So that's what we are going to draw. And now for the start, what we shall do is to draw the given front and then we complete it. Then we shall draw the plan and then we complete with the development. Let's proceed. So let's first of all start by having our front. We can start from here and the base is uh, 50 so we can measure 50 and we can have the vertical the height is 70 according to our question so we complete next we have our intersecting cylinder here that starts from 15 millimeter above the base. So we can measure 15 millimeter above the base. And because it joins it at 45 degrees according to the center line, this cylinder joins this one at 45 degrees. So this line will be 45. So we can draw a line for 5 degrees. So this line here is 45. And this side here is 55, so we can measure 55. Five. And this line here is, this line is perpendicular to this, so we have this line, draw 90 degree, and we can use this. Provide some space and draw the line for five, uh, 90 degree from there. And the diameter is 30, so you measure 30. This is 30, and our center point is 15. Okay, this line is parallel to that, so we can still have this other one. So that's the intersecting cylinder. We can draw this other center line. Because it is 50 diameter, 25 gives us the center point and now we can draw a vertical line and this vertical line is a center line we can extend because it will assist us draw the plan Next, we can draw this other center line, which is 45 degrees.
Now, these are the two cylinders. You want to draw the plan, and the plan for the vertical cylinder is a circle. So we want to draw a circle below this front elevation. And that circle is of the radius 25. So let's say our circle center is here. We can draw that circle. We can also draw a center line for this other for this circle. The horizontal center line. Next is we have to draw the plan for the the intersecting cylinder and this one here. We shall project this point and this one to be shuttled back to the plan or to the ground. So we project this. And we also project this other one. Now, this one will just, this space will give us the plan for that cut face. And now, this other one falls inside this space. And now we are going to transfer this diameter. We transfer this diameter here. We mark that and we mark that. Once we have marked, we can project this line. Project this line. Then we also project this other one. Once we have done this, we are going to draw some circles. The end elevation of this at this side, the same circle, equal distance with this radius and this other one. Again. So we are going to draw this same circle here of this radius. We draw that semicircle. Similarly, we do the same here. Next is we divide the circles in six equal parts. And to divide it in six equal parts, we use the same radius. Starting here, we can make that arc. And coming here, we make this arc. We come here. We mark. We make that arc. Then also, we make this other arc. Similarly, here, make this arc and cut that. Sorry. Cut this. Then come here, cut that, come here, cut this. Okay, those are the subdivisions. We can number them as uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Looking from top, our 3 comes here. Okay, it comes here. So we have 3. 2, 1, 0 is a reverse, 2, 1, 0. So we can join this one here.
So we are going to project this line, this point, this point, on this other side. They will meet our plan. So let's do it. We can print this. We bring it here. Bring number two. Bring number two. Bring number one. Then this other one, they are going to be parallel to this. So we draw the lines. They are 45 degree lines. So starting with the first one. So bring that, bring number two, then bring number one, then bring number two. Okay, once they have come, we shall draw vertical lines from this point, just like we have drawn this, this point and this one move up they will cross these other lines and this one we can use a vertical straight edge so I start with the first one we draw that we come to the second one, we draw that, then the third one, we draw that. Once we have done that, we want to know where the curve is going to pass through. So starting with zero, we look for where zero is. Zero is here, we have zero, so they meet here. Second is one, one. Then we look for one, one is here, and one is also here. It's one and one. Then we have two, two is here. Then we also have two here. Then we have three is here then 3 is also here so we shall join with a curve it will give us a curve of intersection at the points so this is how we join so what we have gotten is the plan and the front elevation full plan and the front full front elevation having a curve of intersection we are remaining with now having the development of uh, this other cylinder we said this is cylinder a and this is now b so how do we get cylinder uh, the development of cylinder b it means we are going to have first of all to extend this baseline and we open it up at a point we can say point 3. So we draw that baseline. Once we've drawn the baseline, we are going to get the circumference of this. Circumference of this because we know that our diameter was 30. So we are going to calculate the circumference as pi d, 3.142, multiply by 30, and we get 
so we get it as 94.2 now once we have it we are going to measure let's say starting from here we can measure 94.2 that is 9.42 9.2 somewhere here then we shall draw a vertical line here so we draw this vertical line Then also we draw this other line. These lines are parallel to this and this. Once we have done this, we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts. And for us to divide it in 12 equal parts, we can have another line. Then we have 12 divisions. one two so those are 12 divisions then we are going to join this point back to the start the end point so we transfer other points The first one is here. Now we can number these divisions as if we want to open this from three, we can number this as three, two, we now alternate to one, zero, one two three two one zero one two finish with three so we are again going to draw lines which are parallel to this from all those points this point this point they are parallel so what we do we still do the same starting from here We can draw these parallel lines. So the first one. Once we have that, we are going to draw lines parallel to the baseline from all those points along the curve, moving the side. So the first point, second in that order, moving they are parallel to this. So we can start by drawing them. And now to draw this, we can use this edge. then fix this side we can we draw this this one this that this other one Second last then 
and lastly so we shall draw them The number two and we draw them down here. This number number two is still here and brought it. Last one. So we can complete them. Preview. Then we have this. We have this. We have this. Let's this. Now what we shall do? First of all, we can get to know where one is. <coughs> all three. This is three. Preview. And now this is three. And now this is two. Where we have two, we can put dot. This is two, and this one is two. Then this is one. We come and mark for one and one. Then zero. Zero is here. Zero. Then one again. One. This is one. And we have one preview. Then two, two is here. And then we have two. Then last the three. So those points will be joined. Will be joined. To give us the plan of this face from top and this one. So thank you very much. That's what we were supposed to uh, to draw for today. We were to draw the to complete the front, draw the full plan and the development of the intersecting cylinder B. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Consider subscribing.